So today I'm going to be showing you how to teleport something if someone has a role or doesn't have a role. And it also works with objects that have a tag or don't have a tag. So first you want to get two trigger volumes, a player add role, and a player remove role. After you add those, you want to get a role chip, configure the role chip, and then write whatever you want your role name to be. I'm going to name it player. Then you want to configure the value on the player add role and the player remove role to that same role name. After you have that done, you want to wire the player entered on the first trigger volume to the exec on the player add role and player on the trigger volume to target. You want to do the same on this side. Now what you want to get is get any player with role and then you want to configure the role to yet again the same role name. And then you want an is valid and a not. You want to wire up the player to the white node and then the is valid to the value. After that you want to get an if and then wire up the result to condition. Once you have that done you want to get an event receiver. Configure the event receiver. Chip settings, event, all the way down, update 30 hertz. After that you want to wire the red node of the event receiver to the red node of the if. Then you want to add a delay. Then to run, if you don't want a delay you can just have it on zero or you can change it to however many seconds you want. Then you want to get a respawn. Wire up the after delay to the exec on the respawn. Now you want to make two game objects. Configure them. Give both of them a different tag so we can... I'm going to give this one the tag of 1. Once you have that tag down, scroll all the way down and with can modify with circuits. If you don't have that on, it won't do anything. Configure the other one. Turn can modify with circuits on. Up. Give that one the tag of 2. What you want next is rec room object get first with tag. Configure the tag, and this one is going to have the tag of the one that we want to move. So, one. You want to duplicate it. Configure the tag again. Add the other tag. What you want to get next is a get position. Wire the object of the second one, or whichever one you want to have the other object teleport to, to the target, and then position to the position on the respawn and the rotation. Now with this one, you want to wire the object to the target. And as you can see, it's just teleporting over and over again to wherever the pivot point is on this object. We wanted to edit this. We can move it over to where the pivot point is. So now when we grab it, it's just teleporting to wherever it is. In the next video, I'm going to show some different ways of doing this. Like if you do have the role. Right now it's if you don't have the role. So if I were to get the role, it would stop teleporting. Remove the role. It starts teleporting again. And it's just there infinitely. You can also apparently use this to go like hyperspeed.